Confused about which racing game to play on the Nintendo 64? This console has an overabundance of racing games. Fear not, dear viewer, I'm here to help. What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. And I'm back again to take a look at another racing game this week for the Nintendo 64. This time, I'll be talking about Ridge Racer 64. It's a sequel remake to the 1993 PlayStation Arcade game, which was developed by Bandai Namco and published by Nintendo. At a North American release date of February 14th, 2000. Ridge Racer 64, or RR64, is your classic pick up and play arcade style racer. You start off with one of four cars. There's a total of 32 of them in the game that you can eventually unlock by playing through the Grand Prix and then after completing a Grand Prix you perform a car attack where it's you who one on one versus another racer. If you beat them you get their car. You can also play quick play, time attack or challenge a friend in multiplayer mode. fun fact about this game is it was actually the first and only Ridge Racing game that was not released in Japan. Now, all in all, this Ridge Racer port is actually a pretty faithful version of the game. In order to win in this game on higher difficulties, you need to learn how to properly power slide and drift cancel. If done properly, you'll be power sliding or drifting around its higher courses, pretty much going around the entire courses sideways. This game can be very, very easy to pick up and play, but can be horribly difficult to master. The biggest negative about this game is really just the lack of courses from the PlayStation port. There's a couple of the courses got some minor tweaks and alterations but I wouldn't say that there's any brand new courses so if you've played Ridge Racer on the PlayStation 1 well you kind of have you know some idea of what the courses are going to look like next I'd like to talk overall about the controls for this game for a first person arcade style racer they control absolutely wonderful like I said previously, it takes a bit of time to kind of learn how to properly, you know, drift, cancel, and power slide in this game. But once you do, you'll be going sideways throughout the whole entire course. The best, or I believe one of the best parts of this game, probably actually has to be the sound and the music. At the start of each and every single race, the game lets you pick from a variety of different tracks to which you can race from in the game. I thought that was a pretty neat, neat touch. So, if there's one track or a couple tracks that you really enjoy above all the rest, well, you just simply tune in to those and just have a blast while racing. So, the quintessential question that everyone wants to know now. Is Rouge Racer 64 worth picking up and playing on the Nintendo 64? Well, honestly, that depends. If you enjoy classic arcade style racers and you're looking for something that's you know not too bad in price this is still out in the wild for between 10 to 15 bucks then yeah go ahead and pick up ridge racer 64. however if you're anything like me here at ask the cheese gaming and you prefer your racing games with a bit more of a sci-fi slant or you prefer kart racers then eh, you might be able to find better elsewhere but it all depends what you're looking for like i said this game's easy to pick up and play and have some fun with for about, you know, 15-20 minutes at a time, but notoriously difficult to master. And there's actually, the series did continue. In fact, recently, they released Ridge Racer 6 for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Till next time.